Well, that's a bit spooky, isn't it? Hello and welcome to MG Tracy. So actually, if this was a normal year, I think I'd be getting my coffee in McDonald's now and we'd be busy playing the latest version of McDonald's. I think I've done eight years worth of doing McDonald's Monopoly on this channel, but sadly, the virus has stolen that from us this year. So today we're going to be looking at making a Starbucks house blend because a lot of us can't go to our coffee shops anymore. So one of the ways to do that is to use these reusable pods. So they have a filter in the bottom and they replace the capsule or the pod that would have gone in your machine. So you have to be quite precise, make sure you put this hole at the front of it and we're going to fill that up, put our coffee in and we're going to make a fantastic Starbucks, cost effectively and in a very green way that's good for the planet. So uh, if you have a close look at your recyclable Dolce Gusto pod, you can see the filter in there. Now one of the things that is not made clear in some of the packs is that's obviously how it drops into the machine, but you need to have a good look because it's got to be very precisely lined up. The uh, bit that punctures the top of the Dolce Gusto capsules is normally poking a little hole through foil, but obviously it isn't here. So you may, this little hole here needs to be at the front of the machine. So you need to make sure that you line that up really carefully with the little uh, metal valve that would normally puncture the top. So I'll just show you where that is in the machine. So as you operate your lever on the top that would normally start the coffee process if you look in the machine you can see that there that little metal puncher that's the bit you need to line up with the hole that's pre-made in your reusable capsule it's not too difficult as long as you know to do it and a lot of the instructions don't tell you to do that uh, so just make sure you line it up and you'll be fine to have whatever coffee you like if you get this wrong, you can damage machines, so it's very important. Okay, so I've put my water, changed my water, we've got fresh water in our Kerps Dulce Gusta, and today we're going to be making the Starbucks house blend. So if you get something like this, I'll put the links for this in Amazon below. Uh, it's a good price on a twin pack of this at the moment. Once you've opened this, you really need to use it uh, within a week or so. Don't store it in the fridge, that will ruin some of the uh, flavour and the smell of it. It just needs to be stored in the dark at room temperature and that'll be fine. So um, you'll find that you've got a little resealable bit there so you can reseal your coffee. I've also got this. Now when you buy some of these, some come with instructions, this one didn't, and some come with the little spoon as well. Um, I've nicked this out of uh, uh, the twins milk. So that was one of the ones that you do the baby milk with but something of that size is about what you need so there you can see wonderful ground starbucks oh, God, that, that is a wonderful smell to uh, make you feel good about life again that is fantastic okay so i've got just one heaped teaspoon of that i'm starting to sound like a chef and uh, we'll pop that in to there, into our filter. You can push it down a little bit if you want, uh, but it's not too important. And then we reseal that. And then the most important bit is remembering that your big hole, you see that the big hole there is at the front. So pull out the drawer and just drop that in and just line it up. So it's spot in the middle there. If when you try to pop this down, it doesn't work too well, um, then you've not got it lined up. Don't force it because you're trying to jam a part of the machine against a plastic. And I think we know who's going to win that. So we'll turn the machine on, that can be warming up. We'll pop that in there and hopefully this should go down there. There we go, so that's a good sign. Um, so if you wanted to make a cappuccino, and we're just obviously using uh, coffee, ground coffee. Now then you could put about a third of your favorite milk in there, almond milk, dairy-free milk, whatever milk you want to put in there. Microwave that for about 35 seconds and that'll get it all nicely warmed up for you. And we're just waiting for the machine here to turn green, which it has, so uh, here we go then.
well, I can already smell that. So you need to run this until the water starts to go quite clear. Just I think there will do me. Um, if you wanted to make a slightly larger one, then you could put two spoonfuls of coffee in there. The bar pressure in the machine will handle that. So there you are now, you can have your uh, Americano coffee or you can add some milk to that or however you want it. Um, but hopefully you can see. So we've made a very, very cost effective Starbucks at home and we've been good to the planet as well and even recycled a spoon that came out of the twins milk tub. So I hope you found that useful. Um, please like, share and subscribe. We're all gonna spend a lot more time at home this year. So it's a good opportunity to really get to grips with making some lovely coffee for your family at home. Please be safe and follow all the rules that your government is telling you. And next year, hopefully, we'll all be back in our coffee shops. This is Paul from London saying cheerio for now.